Which changes the answer to the quiz. Wow. Well, so we are, we are correct now. No, because there was another one that was 6.5 on their website. Yeah. So it's 6. <laughs> so it went out. So we're, we're going off the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so a rapid review. It's time of Inami. Inami. Inami Dubble. Dubble. Oh, actually. And what do you call it? Dubble. 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 Yeah. Dubble. Sounds like something you've played before. That's a Flemish pronunciation. Flemish. He's using the French. Is that right? <laughs> Double. What did the French mean? Let me speak. No, okay. Because it's the Australian one. So, um, yeah, this is uh, a really tasty beer. I love my double. I just think it's got a, just a nice warming kind of homely, it's like a comfort beer for me. Hmm. Really like a little um, hug or something. Yeah, totally. I could hug. I'll take a hug if you want to give me one. Yeah, I keep comparing the, the darker beers with, with red wine and, and the blonde beers with, with white wine, but um, it's probably more uh, of a wintry mm-hmm. type beer, um, but um, it's not that strong. This is 6.6. So you can drink this all year round. It's, it's, I actually find it very easy drinking, but it doesn't come across as 6.6 to me. I get a little bit of like a molasses coming in there, which I quite like. A little, little bit sweeter, warm, warmer nights, I like that little bit of sweeter beer. I, just, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, it's got that hints of chicory. And, um, yeah, yeah, chicory is probably the best way to put yeah, it. Hints yeah. of chicory and, and just um, caramels and things like Caramel. that. So they're, they're yeah. caramels. Mm. It's hints of toffee in there as well, without mm. being the burnt toffee. Mm. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's an eminently drinkable beer, and that's the problem that this one I've got with this one, is that I have had a very long, Ooh. long evening on the Well, you said evening then. Well, actually, it was a day. started day <laughs> drinking and ended off at about one in the morning. Mm. Um, um, and I didn't realise the strength of them at the time. Mm. has a little bit of the fruitcake thing going on as well, which, which is something I really like, but why? I don't know that it's always like that with a double. This one, I'm, I get the finish flattens out really quite quickly. Mm. So, um, as a sipper, probably I prefer a, like a stronger, richer mm. finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if I was going to drink a bit more, this would make this would make it so much easier yeah. to do. This is a color too. Is, is a bit lighter, yeah. lighter, yeah. yeah. classic. Yeah, you're right. It's almost copper, really, isn't it? Yes. Mm. It's funny that you're talking about how how it finished and that fruit cake. Uh, I get what you mean when it kind of just finishes out. I actually get the fruit cake after that, which is what oh, I, I quite like. But yeah, I don't. I, just I get barely get any bitterness at all. On my oh, I, I, mean, yeah. don't, I don't get much. Do they? Uh, now, are these are just straight brewed. Are they barrel aged beers as well, or not? No, they're not. Okay. No. So, can you barrel age this style of beer? You okay. can. And would it actually bring anything more to it? Like, how do you get all these? All these flavours that we're seeing are stuff that I normally see in something that's been like a finished in a whiskey barrel or finished in a rum barrel, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of flavours coming into this. Where are they coming from? Just the malts themselves, or um, uh, uh, I'll malts tell you, or? most of these flavours would be malts and yeast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We we are reviewing <coughs> from the same uh, brewery, um, the Adrian Brower mm-hmm. Oak. Yes. Which 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 will be barrel aged. Okay, right, right. right. So yep. we're coming to that, and, and, but that's a ten percent beer. Mm. So that's uh, um, that will be because I can just see that this. Actually, what it reminds me of, if I wasn't into the Belgian beers, would be um, what was it called? It was the what, what tenants Edinburgh Brewery. They do Edinburgh Brewery. Oh, the t- it was tenants. It was their ex. It was that nine percent whiskey. Wasn't a special. Oh, sorry, you're thinking of uh, Innocent Gun. Innocent Gun. Yeah. Oh, Remind me of that. the Innocent yeah, Gun can see we bourbon go barrel finished yeah. one. Um, except obviously except without the. That's better. Yeah. From the yeast. Yeah. The yeast and, and the caram- the caramel comes probably from the sugar beet. Yep. Mm. So uh, yes, rather think- than the barrel aging. Yeah. I don't think this has, has got it. So when you yeah. said it's sugar beet, so what are we talking about now? We are talking about additional sugars added into them to get the higher alcohol and strength? Uh, yeah, it's your higher alcohol, but it also it's does give some sort of flavors as well. Mm. So do they Especially with the beet sugars. They actually do they the sugars, so yeah, it's actually caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's called brew. Candy, uh, is it candy sugar? Yeah. 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 yeah, they call it candy sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, right. it's, 
Yeah, because I knew it had around to, to, to bring some sort of the flavours that were in there, so I could never see a... Affects the colouring as well, so they use it, and in English beers certainly they use it very much to, I guess a bit like the way Guinness take a, a pale beer and make it dark with, with um, small amount of very black malt. Mm -hmm. In England they use the caramels to take a more efficiently brewed pale malt beer and okay. tint it effectively to the colour that they want. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, that's very lovely. I think we, what's the next one we're going? Oh, we're quizzing next, aren't we? We're quizzing next, quizzing. and then we're moving on to our triple. Yeah. Is that correct? Oh, no, we're not. We're at five. Um, yeah, we're, we're moving on to the fifth beer. The fifth beer, okay. Fifth beer. Cool. Fifth beer. We'll tell you all about it later. We'll see you in a minute. We're going from five to the fifth.